Well, good morning. As Ollie said, I'm Oscar, co-founder and CEO to Bo. Uh, we were founded in 2019, and I'm so excited. We're unveiling to you or giving you a first look today at Bo M. This is part, or this appearance is part, of our ongoing seed round. So, <sighs> electric scooters. We all know that they are the quickest way to travel. They're also the cheapest way to travel. And they are the cleanest way to travel. So since this room contains the thought leaders from our industry, I can say with total confidence, we all own one, right? Right, guys? OK, one whoop from the back. Yeah, wrong. Let's talk about that. When I say EV or e-bike, what do you think of? Gee whiz, giant suede, the mass market, or the first mass market of these products? No. Tesla Van Moof, they made these products highly desirable, and they made these products safer and more functional, and they also, most importantly, made them socially acceptable. We talk about social illegality a lot at Bow. There's lots of ways, scooters do suffer with this, and there's lots of different ways people try to solve it. More power, more battery, even things like suspension. But none of this is stuff that a scooter actually needs. It's not taking us towards a, a great scooter future. So how did we solve it? Well, this is where it gets exciting. Our background is automotive. Williams Formula One in the advanced engineering, Jaguar Land Rover design. And we started Bohem with this revolutionary and unique new chassis architecture. We call it monocurve. It moves the stress through the vehicle to the very extremities of the structure, and that lets us tune the stiffness and the strength. But more importantly, it gives us this packaging space, and then we can start to integrate some truly innovative technology, and oh boy, have we developed some innovative technology. So Safe Steer is our new safety paradigm for electric scooters, mitigating the smaller wheel size and, and stabilizing your steering. What this means is that finally we have an e-scooter that gives you the comfort and the safety when you're riding of a bicycle. When we package this into a full product, it's is a new paradigm for safety, but a new paradigm aesthetically. We're not talking about incremental improvement here. So I guess you can guess it this time. Take the e-scooter from here to here. When we ride this into the city, we get these unprecedented reactions from passers-by, from adults and children, reacting to what seems to be alien hardware in their city. And it's a special day today. This morning, the Bo.World website has gone online for you to all rush on and take a look at. Fundamentally, we're doing this because we genuinely and, and deeply believe that cities where every household has an electric scooter are better cities. They're, they're cleaner. It's a future I would choose to live in and that we all would. And of course, this isn't a product pitch. It's a company pitch. I cannot wait to introduce to you guys the rest of the Bow family we've got coming through. The vehicles, but more than that, the infrastructure, the accessories, things that empower people, really empower people, to transition away from their cars. So Bohem, to return to, we're packaging all of this under 2,000. The first ones will be arriving next year, and we have more announcements in September for you. And finally, in the spirit of the show, for those of you who wish to log on and honor us with a fully refundable pre-order, remember the code, where you were and when you were there. We're building out quite a special rewards package, not unlimited, but for some, and I'll bet you a pound it's worth uh, putting it in. We're going to deliver more on that in September. So with that, I guess I would say this is me. Everyone's very welcome to get in touch if you're excited by what we're doing. And I believe I can invite some questions from the panel. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers, Oscar. So, thank you. Thank you very much.
So the way this will work is we're gonna give each of our panelists five minutes to present and then three minutes for questions. So, to our panelists. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I can start. So obviously a <clears throat> very competitive uh, market out there. Um, how do you think about competition? Obviously, before starting this, um, you thought about it. What's what's the what's like the biggest edge you guys think you have? Is it the like slick design? Is it the performance? How, how do you think about yourselves? What's the identity of the of the company? So, yeah, wonderful question. That will vary for each of our customers. So, for one person, it will be the aesthetic. For another, it will be the safety. We're not here to judge that. Our process is we look at what the primary reason why someone might not be able to transition from their car is, and we solve that. And very early on in this, I mean, I am the ultimate car guy. I come from Formula One Williams. We were building concept cars. So we look at it from a very native position of why can't I transition from a car? Why did I just drive across the city? So for, for us, as designers, it started with status. We're immensely uh, focused on the aesthetic of what we're looking at. But for others, we know that safety for others, it might be bad carrying, and we respond to that. It's not about a specific USP from our point of view, it's about what is stopping that. So, <clears throat> thank you. Um, well, very important uh, question for me, and I think also for uh, you guys. Uh, could you please elaborate a little bit about your core team? So your background, your domain knowledge, kind of, uh, sure. and everything that's important. So my background actually is design. Studied automotive design, was recruited by Williams into the advanced engineering. There I met one of my co-founders, Harry, an engineer, and uh, his background was actually the Bloodhound Lad Land Speed Record car, the rocket car that uh, they ran recently. We've been joined by Luke, uh, who is our third co-founder and is a designer also. So we both studied the same automotive design background, and he went into future design at Jaguar Land Rover. So that's the automotive background. Our engineering team then comes from traditional aerospace mechanical engineering. Thanks. Maybe one, one last question. Um, and first, beautiful uh, product out there, so congrats on that. Um, the question I had was linked to, so this space um, has, been, has been a bit tough, right? Um, high end uh, scooters, we've actually invested in one and that was a very successful experience, I would say. Um, what do you think, like there's, you know, the space for like, you know, um, upmarket e-bikes has been like, you know, booming and, you know, and it seems like there's a lot of demand and it's been tougher for, you know, uh, upmarket scooters. So, yeah, I've always liked the line, we saw further because we stood on the shoulder of giants. I have so much respect for the boosteds, the imbors, these extraordinary companies who were approaching the same problem that we're trying to unwrap. How do you shift people onto a premium product that is equivalent to a car. From our point of view, the biggest challenge often these have faced is when you look at a lineup, we start our pitch to investors with a cut through of the scooter market, and I have not yet had a single person able to tell me accurately which is the $500 scooter, which is the $2,500 scooter, and what the functionality and the features that, that they differentiate them are. We, you have to build genuine value into a product if you're going to convince someone to spend that money. And, and that's the way that we've approached this. The second answer is out of our hands, and that's timing. The market has progressed. It's a very different world to 2018 when, when Oliver started this. And we reckon the world's about ready for something along these lines. <laughs>